Hi, this is Rich. My brother Dave and I are ordinarily renovating houses, but it's 4th of July weekend, so we're taking a day off. And we were going to spend the day boating, but wouldn't you know it, our propeller is all dinged up. One of us, probably me, hit a log. So here's a propeller blade that's in pretty good shape, but the issue is this one. It got all jacked up by a log, so anyway, we're going to have to pull this off and put a new one on. Holding this propeller on is this nut. It's a 1 and 1 16th inch nut and so we have this special wrench. It came from a propeller shop and it's got a socket that is also 1 and 1 16th. And then we've got a block of wood that we're going to use to keep the propeller from spinning as we try to undo this nut. So that's just up there and it's going to wedge between the propeller and this plate. And then we're going to put this proper inch on here. All right, and then there's the nut that was holding the propeller on. All right, and there's the old beat up propeller. Um, at the prop shop, they're going to fix this for us rather than buy a new one. Now that we have the propeller off, there's a washer here called a thrust washer, and we just pull that off as well. We've got a new one with our new propeller, so we're going to take this one off and we might as well use the new one. Okay, we have some uh, silicon here that we're going to put on the inside of this washer. And that slides just right back on there. We're good with that. And this is the new propeller. We just line it up and that baby pops right on there. This is an aft spacer. This all came with the, the new propeller kit. And that gets put right on there. It clicks into place. This is the tab washer and it goes down on the aft spacer. And it's got these, you know, called a tab washer because it's got six tabs on it. And when you put it on here, three of them are going to line up to be able to fold down and it's going to lock that into place. Okay, there's the tab washer that I was talking about. And the tabs I bent down are this one and that one and this one back here. That just keeps this washer from spinning around. Only three of them line up. The other three aren't going to be folded down. Now we're going to take our nut and put it on here until we can't spin it anymore. And then we're going to use our block that we were using before to keep the propeller from spinning as we tighten it up. All right, well, here's the old propeller and here's the new one. That, that one looks quite a bit nicer. As you can notice, the old propeller had just three blades on it. The new one has four. And basically, this new propeller is going to add some performance to it, some uh, maneuverability. We're going to sacrifice a little bit of speed, but uh, we're going to have a better ride with this one. All right, well, that's it. That's all we had to do to replace this propeller. And now we can go out and have some fun on the lake. Hope this helps. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel so we can show you more how-to videos. Thanks much for viewing, and we'll see you next time.